Hey friends, welcome back to Acre Homestead. I'm pushing our new grill away from the house just a little bit. We're gonna do uh, what's for dinner during construction and all the craziness. It's been a busy, busy day and we need an easy dinner today. And I found that grilling is the key to an easy dinner. I realized I forgot to turn the propane off down below. So I'm kind of worried that it's not gonna turn on. I don't, oh, there we go, it sounds like good. There we go, we're good. We are gonna do some burgers on the grill. I've got a couple different sides and toppings we're gonna put on this. I'm gonna turn this on and just let it heat up. Let's go inside and get some of the toppings prepared for our burgers. So for a couple toppings, we have a couple different options here. I brought up an onion the other day, so I'm gonna slice up some of the onion. We've got a really sharp, beautiful cheese that was from the beach trip when I went on with my friends. And then I brought up an avocado today that needs to be used. And I'm really nervous. It's perfectly soft, but I'm nervous that it's, oh look, it's perfect. So we're gonna put some avocado on our burgers. I'm just gonna slice it like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and we're gonna peel this. I have not been grocery shopping in, I think three and a half weeks other than I did pick up a few things for that party we had this weekend. I think I'm gonna have to go grocery shopping and I think I'm gonna have to do some, start doing some meal planning because life is crazy that I think it might be good if I have a plan moving forward. I was gonna bring up some cutting boards today up here and I totally forgot. So I need to start writing a list of things that I need to bring up here because it would be really helpful to have a cutting board. I'm gonna cook two burgers, one for Josh, one for I. So I'm just gonna do one ring of onion for both of us and we're gonna grill these on the grill too. And we're gonna get a few slices of cheese. While I'm waiting for the grill to heat up, I have some lettuce that I brought here the other day that I already pre-washed from the garden. I'm gonna go ahead and get our side salads all dished up. So by the time the burgers come off the grill, we'll be ready to eat. And I think I'm gonna put the avocado on the salad instead of on the burger, just because that will be good. And that's what I've decided. So this is pre-washed lettuce, which is always really nice, especially if you have a garden, if you can wash a bunch of it at one time and it just saves yourself a step when it comes to prep. So I'm gonna just tear this up and Josh and I will each have a nice big salad for dinner. I'm gonna take the avocado I peeled and I'm just gonna put a couple of dices in it and we're just gonna put that on top of our salad. And then we'll dress this when we go to eat it. So what we need to do, I think, is clean the grill just a little bit before. We got one of these wooden grill cleaners. It's supposed to be better for you than the ones with the metal brushes. But it takes time because it's eventually going to burn custom little grooves into the wood. Apparently the ones that have metal, the metal can start to flake off. And so I think this is kind of interesting. I am no grill master. I This is only the second time I've used it. The first time we had it, if you watched where we had that party here, my mom was the one that did the grilling because I didn't feel like experimenting grilling kind of for the first time with guests coming over for dinner. But I am so excited. I am so excited to grill all the summer veggies on here. Onion, zucchini, peppers, mushrooms, all the things on here. I love being outside and cooking. I have our grass-fed, grass-finished beef patties from ButcherBox. I just put in my cutting instructions for my half a cow that I order about every two years, but my butcher does not butcher, he doesn't make patties for me. And so one of the things I'm most excited about ButcherBox is getting grass-fed, grass-finished beef patties and then I can use my ground beef that I get from my local farm for different things and I don't have to take the time to make the patties. That's the one reason we don't have burgers very often is I don't like having to make the patties and this is perfect since I'm so passionate about grass-fed, grass-finished beef. 
If you're interested in butcher box, I can link them down in the description box. They have organic chicken. I love their chicken. That's what I use them the most for. Their patties. And we're probably this week going to grill some salmon from them because we have salmon. And I'm just really, really excited about these patties and this grill because this grill is going to make my life so much easier. I only have these two burners on and I'm going to turn it down to medium while they cook because these were completely frozen. And I'm going to put my onions on this other side just so they can start to cook just a little bit. And I'm going to close this and I'm going to let them cook because these need to not only cook, they need to thaw and cook. I almost forgot to season them, so I have a little bit of garlic salt. This is my Redmond Real Salt garlic salt. I have a discount code for them if you'd like. Let's check these onions because I've never done this before. Oh, those need quite a bit longer. Oh no! Darn it. We lost a couple onions. Oh well. I'm probably going to need to invest in one of those like grill grates or something like the, uh, veggie grill pans or something like that. If you guys have any recommendations for me for those, I would greatly appreciate that down in the comment section. I'm going to eat mine without a bun because we have some potato salad left over from the party. But Josh wants a bun, so I'm going to get his bun ready while the burgers are continuing to cook. I'm just going to put a little bit of mayonnaise on one side. I don't have any knives up here, so a spoon is going to have to do. And then we'll put some ketchup on the other side. Ooh, a little bit much there. Good thing he likes ketchup, because that's, that's a lot of ketchup. Let's see. we can flip these. They probably could have gone a minute or two longer on that side. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this onion here. And then next time I will cook those a little bit more on that side. But we do like a cheeseburger. So I'm going to put a little bit of cheese. And then we'll close it again and we'll let this melt on top. And this will help keep the onions in place. I almost forgot, I wanted to put some cowboy candy, which is a pickled candy jalapeno stuff on my burger. So I'm going to take my cheese off. I have a recipe for this linked down below. This is a life changing condiment. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's vinegary and delicious. Then we'll put our cheese back on and that'll keep everything stuck. Oh yeah, look at those. Let's check the bottoms of them. So this one is Josh's and I think we're good to go here. So I'm going to put this on his bun with a lot of ketchup. Good thing he likes ketchup. Put a bun on top. This one's mine with the jalapenos and we're going to bring them inside. I'm going to let that cheese burn off just a little bit. So for our salads, I have some homemade Caesar dressing that I made for the party over the weekend. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that dressing on each one of these salads. We have a lot of leftover potato salad from the party. So we're going to go ahead and have some potato salad with dinner tonight as well. That's why I decided not to have a bun because I figured the potatoes would be perfect for me. So that is our absolutely delicious dinner. I'm excited about that. We'll just mix in the dressing with our fork. I did grab a freezer meal. I'm finding the, the very, 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 very few that I have left in my freezer. And I'm gonna try to use them up so that we can do another big freezer cooking day. We need to do that because it's been struggle with me having to dig through my freezer. It's good that I'm going through this process though because I'm using up the random ones that have been left behind. This is honey mustard chicken. We're gonna grill this on the grill. I'm gonna run to the store probably tomorrow and pick up some different veggies that we can grill on the grill. And then we'll figure out another side to go with this for tomorrow. If you guys have any suggestions or favorite recipes that you like to use on your grill, could you help me out with that? Because I am so excited to use this grill, but I don't really know any real recipes other than just throwing a burger on or brats or I guess marinated chicken and things like that. So if you guys have any specific things that are your absolute favorite, let me know because I need all the help I can get. I'm going to call Josh. Josh? 
dinner. We're gonna go sit outside and enjoy this and I'll see you next time we're in the kitchen. Hey friends, we are back at it. We are going to be doing a new recipe on the grill. Now, I was a little surprised when I thawed this and figured out what it was. We are making a freezer meal and I thought I thawed honey mustard chicken. But what I thought was honey mustard pork loins and I did not realize, I gotta turn the propane on. I completely forgot that last time I did some freezer meals, I made propane, propane. I made honey mustard chicken thighs and honey mustard pork loins. And that's what these are, these are pork loins. I've only cooked pork loins once, I think ever. And I definitely didn't do it on the grill. So I'm excited to see how they turn out. The nice thing about pork, oh, these are tenderloins pork tenderloin so they're really small and thin so I think they should be pretty easy to grill up I'm heating up the grill now so what I think we should do is head on inside and prep our sides it's gonna be a really easy dinner the biggest question mark is gonna be this pork loin we're gonna make a side salad with our homegrown greens we need to wash the lettuce I brought up a big bag of lettuce from the garden today and it needs to be washed and then we are gonna have potato salad which we already have made. So you and I are going to figure out how this pork tenderloin is gonna cook up. I still keep forgetting to bring a cutting board. I have, I got in my PO box a set of cutting boards and they're really, really nice and I was waiting to bring them up here and they're sitting in my garage and I just need to go remember to put them in my car so we can have some cutting boards up here. So I'm not really sure how we're gonna cut this tenderloin but we'll figure it out together. Before we head inside, I wanted to show you where Josh and I have been eating. When we come up here, I just put one of those folding tables out here. It's very bright right now. And we have our two camp chairs and this is our new dinner spot. It's been so nice sitting and watching the view and eating dinner together. We have gotten into this bad habit where we like to eat while we watch TV. I think this house and this environment is gonna be a perfect environment for us to get into a new routine, a new habit of sitting outside and really just enjoying the view and enjoying being together and enjoying a good meal and sitting down and talking. And it's just been so good. It's been so good. So let's go ahead and get a big bag of lettuce washed up. I think I'm gonna wash this whole bag so that I have it prepped and ready to go. That is one thing about garden fresh produce is it's organic, there are bugs in it. It doesn't come nicely washed in packages like you can buy that pre-washed lettuce in the store, which is always so nice and so convenient, but this is not that. So when I do wash my lettuce, I like to wash a bunch of it so that I have it prepped in the fridge, ready to go for convenience, because then I'm more likely to grab it and we're more likely to eat it. I brought up a couple dish towels. Now I need to get a salad spinner. I don't own a salad spinner. You might hear Josh working in the background because that's what he's here doing. So that's what you might hear in the background. So if you have any good salad spinner recommendations for me, I would really appreciate that. If you have a brand that you like, one that's convenient to use, because I think that would make washing homegrown lettuce a lot easier. You really have to check every single piece of lettuce for any creepity crawlies that want to be in there. I have my lettuce here and then I also have a bunch of cilantro. So we're gonna add a few pieces of cilantro into our salads. I'm just gonna to toss the lettuce or tear the lettuce. We've been eating a lot of salad for lunch and trying to just enjoy the greens while they're coming fresh out of the garden. I'm gonna stick these in the fridge just while we cook the dinner so they stay nice and cold and crisp. Oh my goodness, I need to turn the grill off. I completely forgot that I have an Azure pickup. I had it all in my brain that I was gonna do that on the way here. Josh and I were gonna drive separate today and then he got home and it out of my brain. So I feel, I feel really bad. I texted her, the lady who's the coordinator, and I said, please just leave it right where it is. It's at a church. I think it'll be okay. I'm not worried about it. I don't want her to wait for me. Ah! Okay, I gotta go. I'll be back, and we will finish up cooking. I'm back, and it was no big deal. When she texted me, it was only about 20 minutes after the truck was supposed to get there, and when by the time I got there, because I told her, don't wait for me, there was like five other people that hadn't gotten their stuff. 
Usually I get there around when the truck gets there. So I've never done it like that at that drop. If you guys are interested in Azure, it's kind of a bulk buying organic club. I can link them down below. Normally I buy bulk from them, but because we're in this transition, I did not buy bulk. I figured I'm gonna show you my haul, it's little. And the reason I still went ahead and bought stuff is because at my local Costco or my grocery store, I can't find organic cheddar cheese. I could go to like New Seasons or Whole Foods, but it's so expensive and I'm completely out of cheddar cheese. So that's why I decided to go ahead and place my order because I wasn't gonna place an order at all this month, but I really, I can't beat the price of the organic cheese. So that's the first thing I got. It's this raw milk white cheddar grass fed cheese and it's about 550 a pound, I think. Or this one might be a little bit more because this is organic and raw and grass fed. This one might be about eight or nine dollars a pound. They do have some that are organic that are cheaper than that, but I think because I went with the grass fed and the raw, it was a little bit more expensive. I really love their mozzarella cheese. They also have an organic one. This one melts better. I got the organic one last time and this time I decided to get this one. These are going out of stock. They're stopped making them or something or carrying them. So they were on sale and this is my husband's new favorite chip. So I decided to get him one bag. And then the favorite, our favorite tortilla chips are these sea salt and lime. So I got some of those. Last time I placed my order, they were out of organic onions. So I got, or red onions. So I got 10 pounds of red onions, two sour creams. They are cheaper for me to buy this sour cream through Azure. I can get this at my local Kroger store, but it's way more expensive. And then I saw this on someone else's haul. This is onion soup and dip mix. I don't buy this in the store because I don't like the ingredients that are in the ones that you can get at your local store. I think it's Lipton brand. And so I thought I would give this a try for seasoning things like roasts and my mom would always put onion soup mix in stroganoff when she would make it in the crock pot and for dips because the veggies are gonna start becoming extremely abundant out of the garden this year. Hopefully, I know our lettuces, but our peas and carrots and things that we're gonna be munching on. So I thought this would be good in sour cream for a dip, but we'll have to see because I've never tried it, but I like the ingredients better in this than what you can get at the store. The first thing I did when I got back was I turned the grill on, so the grill should be warm and we should be able to get our tenderloins on them and get back to our regular scheduled program, which is dinner. It's now about 7.30, so it's definitely a little bit later than I was anticipating eating dinner, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give the grill a little bit of a scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. I do need to go grocery shopping. Probably I'm gonna do that tomorrow because we are almost out of any sort of fresh produce, except for we have obviously have tons of lettuce, but I wanna get some things that we can grill on the grill, like zucchinis and peppers, and I've never eaten eggplant before. Can you grill eggplant? Is that good? I don't know. I wanna do a whole recipe where we try eggplant together for the first time because I've never made it. So let's go ahead and get this tenderloin on the grill. I had this grill on high. I think I'm gonna turn it down to medium. And we're gonna get these on the grill. I've never tried this recipe with pork before. This is a honey mustard marinade that I put on chicken all the time and it is so good. It's probably one of my husband and I's favorite marinades on chicken. And that's what I thought we were having today, but I think it would be good on pork because mustard and pork are a match made in heaven. So we're gonna see. One thing I know is pork, you want it to be cooked all the way through. Oh yeah, looks good. And I don't have my meat thermometer up here, so I wish I did. So far it's looking good. I'll probably try to cook it on all four sides. The only way I can test is by pushing on it and it feels cooked to me. Typically how I found, figure out if my steaks are done is by the touch test. So we're gonna go with that with this. Look how beautiful that looks. It smells good. I'm gonna let this burn. I'm gonna close this and let this burn while we do a couple other things and then I'll clean it. I want this meat to rest for about 10 minutes before we cut into it. Like I mentioned earlier, I have no cutting board so I put it on a plate 
These are our nice plates and I don't want to cut with a knife directly on it so I put it on a paper plate so I'll cut the meat on the plate on the paper plate. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. If I had a little piece of foil I would put a piece of foil over that just to tent it while it rests for the next 10 minutes or so. If I cut it now while it's hot that's when you can run the risk of drying out your meat because the moisture that's in that will just ooze right out. But if you let it rest, the meat will reabsorb the moisture and you'll have nice juicy meat and pork, especially pork tenderloin, can dry out really easily. Not that I have a ton of experience, I just know that from hearing it. I'm gonna get the plates out and we'll put the sides on them. We're gonna have potato salad again for dinner tonight because this is left over from the party. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give this, we're gonna go ahead and slice up our tenderloin. I'm gonna cut it really thinly. Let me make sure it's cooked. Oh yeah, it's definitely cooked all the way through. I maybe overcooked it a little bit. That's okay. Josh, dinner's ready. I just called Josh for dinner, but I thought I would give it a little taste test. Mmm. I took a little bit too big of a bite there. So good. And I took the end piece and it was a little bit overdone. So I think what we have out there, perfectly cooked. The honey mustard, oh my gosh, it's not overpowering. I'll link the link to that recipe down in the description box. Like I said, I'd only ever done it with chicken, but with this pork tenderloin, fantastic. That was a freezer meal, so I made that up, put it in the freezer. I thought it two days ago, so it's just been sitting in the refrigerator, marinating for two days, and so good. I went ahead and I plated our dinner and I brought it out for us. I just gotta get us water. We're gonna sit and enjoy the view. We will be back together next time we're here. I, like I said, I think I'm gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow, so we're gonna have some more ingredients to work with. This is just kind of making do with what we had. I haven't technically done a big grocery shopping in a month, or any like grocery shopping except for that party in a month. So I'm not, I, I've mentioned this before, I'm kind of switching the way I'm doing my grocery shopping right now because I can't do a big once a month grocery shop because I just don't know what I'm doing necessarily from day to day right now to where I can make sure I manage that food properly and we don't have food waste and I hate throwing food away. So we're doing a little bit smaller grocery shopping. I'm probably gonna be doing more like every week and a half grocery shopping and we need produce. So that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow and I'll see you next time we're back cooking. We just got up here this evening and I brought a box of groceries because today is Friday and I wanna have food in the house for over the weekend. We are about to make dinner. We have some croissants from Costco. I basically went to Costco and bought some convenience food in order to make this weekend a lot easier because I don't really have any freezer meals left in my freezer. This weekend, like I said, I bought some convenience foods. I got this quinoa salad at Costco. And then to go with the croissants, I also picked up some chicken salad. I also got some snacky food. So we got some pickles, some cheese and salami, a bunch of vegetables in here. This was my cauliflower harvest today. So we're gonna have cauliflower on the grill sometime this week. But tonight we're gonna grill up, I think these zucchinis, cause those need to be eaten. And then I have just a myriad of vegetables. I got a salad kit. We got some sugar snap peas that I wanna cook on the grill. Cauliflower I wanna cook on the grill along with mine. Broccoli. And then tonight we're gonna have brats. So I bought a package of hot dog buns for our brats tonight. And then I got this at Costco. So we're gonna use this for the first time tonight. These are some grill mats for veggies. I didn't, I was gonna go to Home Depot or Lowe's to get them, but Costco had them on sale for a great price. I brought up some olive oil so we can cook up all those veggies on the grill. I do have garlic salt here. And here are our brats. These are from a local hog that a local butcher makes. And this is what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. Just another random thing, I bought soap because we need, we only have one thing of hand soap in the whole house. And so I got some of these for all the bathrooms and the kitchen sink, and they smell really good. The first thing I'm gonna do is get all of this put away 
and I'm gonna get the grill going so that we can have the brats on the grill. And friends, last night, that dinner, the honey barbecue or honey mustard whoo, pork tenderloin was so, so good. I, when I was at Costco, I bought a few more pork tenderloins and we are gonna be doing some freezer meals coming up. I'm gonna be probably, today's Friday, I'll probably do them on Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. And we're gonna do the, a bunch of different marinades for pork tenderloin because it was so easy on the grill, so tender, so flavorful. And I want to have that more and more. Josh and I both really enjoyed it. So this is going, I'm gonna go put the food away and then we'll come back out here when we are ready to cook. I remembered a cutting board today. So we have officially a cutting board. I've got four zucchinis that I'm gonna cook on the grill tonight. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna, I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna do this. I know that I have garlic salt and olive oil, and so we'll get them whew, flavored up really nicely. But I wanna wash them really well first. I think the way I want to do this is in long strips. So we're going to cut the tops and ends off. I only have a little paring knife here. Ah. I think I'm going to cut each one into four long strips. I guess, yeah, four. Now we have to season our zucchini. So I don't have a great way to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and put our strips on this plate. I have everything prepped. I think the grill is heated and it's time to put everything on the grill. I'm excited to try this. It smells so good. And I got it scrubbed again. So what I've been doing, and you can tell me if I am off base on this, after I cook on it, I let it cook, continue to burn for another, I don't know, six, eight, 10 minutes. And then I scrub it. And then after it preheats, I scrub it again before I put the food on. Is that what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know. We have our brats and our beautiful zucchini, and that was very simple to prepare. I went ahead and I did decide to turn the whole grill on because I think we're gonna need the whole grill. And I'm gonna put zucchini here, and I'm gonna take my brats. Oh! Well, I gotta go wash that one off. I'm just gonna put them on here. I have both of these on high. I think I'm gonna keep this on high and I'm gonna turn these down to medium because they are raw and they need to cook all the way through. And we're gonna let that cook. I wanted to cook two extra brats. Josh and I will each eat one tonight and then we'll have two extra and extra zucchini because I'm going to use this as breakfast tomorrow. I don't have any plans. Tomorrow morning is gonna be super, super busy and I'm not gonna have time in the morning to make breakfast. So we will, by the time we, when we get up here, we will go ahead and just eat a brat and zucchini for breakfast. And then I have some fruit up here, or actually I've left the fruit at the other house. Maybe I'll bring up, no, I have apples. I have apples here. So we can have brat, zucchini, and an apple for breakfast. That'll be a nice protein heavy filling breakfast to get us motivated for the rest of the day. Turn them. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. I think I'm going to turn the grill down just a little bit more. Definitely seems like it's hotter back here. Let's see how these are doing. 
no grill marks yet. I wonder if we should put them on the grill. I think that was a good choice because now we're getting the grill marks. I'm going to put some grill marks on the other side of these zucchinis. And then we're going to call these done because I don't want them to overcook. But how beautiful is that? Perfect. I just put the brats on their side so we can brown all four sides of them and I kind of like stack them on top of each other. I took the zucchini off and I put it up here. This whole side is off so we're going to close the lid, let these continue to cook and the zucchini will stay nice and warm. While the brats are finishing, I got the mustard and ketchup out. Josh is going to have a bun. I'm not going to have a bun and we have a little leftover potato salad so I'm going to go ahead and finish this off for dinner tonight, and then we are done. And then we have finished that potato salad. I'm also gonna give myself two pickles and Josh zero pickles because I'm the pickle eater and he's not. So anytime we go out, I always get his pickle. So I'm gonna put both of his pickle and my pickle on my plate. I feel like that makes a perfect relationship when there's one person that eats the pickle and one person that doesn't. So we have two pickles for me, zero for him. These are so good. I may have already tried one. They're from Costco. They're a fresh refrigerator pickle. They are so good, so good. I bought these as a snack. I've never bought them before because I felt like I didn't need to buy them, but this might be, oh, I'm spilling. This might, I need to put the lid on. This might become a regular item in my grocery cart when I go to Costco because they are phenomenal. Our brats are done. They smell so good. They are so good. I know they're good, but I've never made them on a grill before. I always cook them on the stove. I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because this is not very messy. And I'll burn all that when I turn it on next time because you know there's gonna be a next time. Grilled veggies are one of my favorite things. There's Josh's. I'm just gonna have one just like this. And then we're gonna serve up a bunch of zucchini. And here's Josh's plate. I'm gonna let him put his ketchup and mustard on there and I do have mayonnaise if he wants that. I'm not exactly sure what he wants. And here's mine and we're gonna go outside and enjoy a delicious dinner. And I'll see you next time we're back in the kitchen.